Hello and welcome to the 36th tutorial in the Kirkus 2D JS version 3 series. In this part we're going to be looking at how to set the music's volume. We'll be using the source code from the 33rd tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. Kirkus 2D JS provides us with loads of useful functionality to manipulate audio. We will look at setting music volume. From the 33rd tutorial, we already have a music file playing. So let's open up our app.js. Before we actually do anything, let's just run the application so you can see or hear what it does. This is playing music, but let's just run it anyway. Chain directory to our project. Run our project. Make sure volume is at its highest. <laughs> There you go, we have music playing now. And to set the music volume, it is ridiculously simple. Uh, all you need to do is cc dot audio engine dot set music volume. And in here you specify a value between zero and one, basically being one being the highest and zero being the lowest say okay, it'll be off. So I'm gonna put 0.5, save that, go back to our web browser. Refresh. I don't know if that changed or not. I'm going to put this to 0 0.05. If it doesn't change, then chances are it's just a cache issue and I just need to remove the cache. Let's just see. Yeah, it's most likely a caching issue, so let's just clear the browsing data. Just the cache image as far as that's all you need. And now if we go back to our website, as you can hear, it is a lot quieter now. I'm going to put it to 0 0.5, so it's a little louder but quieter than it was originally. Just open a new tab so we, we stop hearing the music. So yeah, it is literally that simple to set the music volume. Little thing to know, the volume needs to be set after the music has started, otherwise setting the music volume won't work, aka we've played the music here and now we've set the music here. It doesn't have to be immediately after, but just after it. You can't put it before it because it just won't work. The next tutorial will cover setting up single touch events. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video, just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.